Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to talk about the five spring color trends that are going to be everywhere for 2023. Now you might be thinking, Teresa, it is still cold out and it still is in most parts of the country. I decided to do this video now so that when the spring pieces come out in your area, you will already have a mental note of what pieces you might want to add to your wardrobe. The first spring color trend that I want to talk about is the Pantone color of the year, Viva Magenta. I was thrilled when this was announced because it is one of my all-time favorite colors. I love the deep, rich saturation. I have always loved jewel tones, and I am especially excited about this particular shade. A pro tip that I always follow is before I go out and buy any new pieces once the trends are announced, I go to my closet first. And lo and behold, the first thing my eye landed on was a magenta top. I shared this top in a previous video. I will link it in the cards above. I paid $6 for this. This is currently on clearance on the Walmart website. I will link this in the description box below, but I digress. I am going to have so much fun wearing the Pantone color of the year. Now, if you are a pink lover, the second spring color trend is going to be right up your alley because it is called Pink Perfection. I also love this one. This one features colors like Barbie pink and then even pinks that have a little bit of coral to them. There were pinks all over the runway, everything from a pale pink to a fuchsia. I actually have a couple of currently available pieces to share with you. This pretty top is an Amazon find. They're calling this the long sleeve lace crochet sweater. It is under $30, it's $29.99. It comes in sizes small through extra large and it is available in seven gorgeous colors. Of course, I wanted to show the trending color so I'm sharing it in red rose but I have to say that it is definitely more of a fuchsia. I'm I'm showing this in a size medium. I probably could have done a size small in this. I do find that it fits true to size. The fabric on this one is a blend of viscose and polyester. It is machine wash cold and then it does say to lay dry. I do want to point out that it specifically says do not tumble dry and in this case I think it's because of the lace trim on the sleeves. This top features a flattering v-neckline that's not too low. The knit body and the trim has such a luxe feel Feel to it. The balloon sleeves feel substantial to me and they are not scratchy at all. I do want to point out that the lace does not have any stretch, but I still found the sleeves and the top to be comfortable. I also found a piece from Kato in this same fun Barbie pink, this time in a jacket. They're calling this the trucker jacket with ruffle trim. It is $32.99, which I don't think is a bad price for a jacket at all. It's available in Missy sizes small through extra large and plus sizes 14 through 28. The fabric is 67% cotton, 22% polyester, 9% rayon, and 2% spandex. It has super easy care instructions. It's just machine wash cold and tumble dry. This jacket actually covers two of the 2023 trends. One, the pink perfection color and also the ruffle trim on the shoulder. I have another video coming out where I'm going to talk about the style trends in particular, but for right now I am going to focus on color. So it has a nod to the ruffle trim along the shoulder. It's just a little bit of detail. It's nothing too poofy. The jacket has a good amount of stretch. It has princess seaming for shape, which I'm a big fan of. It has two side slip pockets and a button closure and then a raw hem. As a point of reference, I am five foot four, and this jacket hits me just at the natural waist. I mention this because if you are a lot taller than I am, it might fit you a little bit cropped. I love the silhouette of this one. The third spring color trend that I want to talk about is purple hues. And I know that there are a lot of you that love purple, and this is going to be right up your alley. Now on the runways, they showed a wide range of purple hues, everything from a very pink pale lilac to a lavender all the way up to a deep rich royal purple. I am beyond thrilled that so many jewel tones are on trend for spring and summer 2023. 
The first purple piece that I have to share with you is from Cato. I'm trying to mix it up and show a couple of different affordable retailers. In fact, let me know in the comments down below if you like this format. So I'm going to be sharing pieces from Walmart, from Cato, from Amazon, so that wherever you like to shop, you can find something. This one is called the Ruched Sleeve Top. It is $12.99, so it is a great price point. It comes in sizes extra small through extra large. The color that I'm showing is called Pansy. This is that true, deep, rich, royal purple. It also comes in black just as a point of reference. The fabric is 60% cotton and 40% Modell. It does have super easy care instructions. It's just machine wash cold and tumble dry. This figure flattering top has a v-neckline, a relaxed fit through the body, and then the star of the show is the three-quarter ruched sleeves with a bell flounce at the bottom. This top will easily carry you into spring, and it looks good with white, with black, with denim. The next piece that I want to share with you in the purple family is another Amazon find. This one is called the Color Block Striped V-neck Sweater. It is $41.99, which is kind of the upper end of what I will pay on Amazon, but I have to say that this is very well made. It comes in sizes extra small through 2XL, and it is available in 15 colorways. I'm showing this in the color purple in a size medium. I may have been able to wear a small in this one as well, but I will say that it does fit true to size. The fabric is 100% acrylic, and I want to mention that it does not feel like acrylic at all to me. If I were just touching this in a store, I would assume that it is a cotton blend. It does not have that scratchy feel of acrylic. The care instructions for this sweater are a little bit fussy in my world. It says to hand wash cold and lay flat to dry. I typically like to throw everything in the washer and dryer, but I really like this one, so I think it's worth it. I think this sweater pattern is absolutely striking. This is a lightweight sweater, but it is not flimsy at all. It has a flattering V neckline, ribbed knit trim, and then a diagonal stripe that forms a V that I think makes the waist look smaller. The next piece I have to share with you in the purple family is another Amazon find. And I have to preface this by saying that I almost didn't show this. I'll explain why in just a moment. This is called the polka dot blouse. It is only $12.99. It comes in sizes small through extra large. It is available in three colors. I'm showing what they're calling purple. To me, this is definitely more of a lavender. I'm showing this in a size medium, and I do want to mention that this does run very small. I would recommend sizing up at least one size, possibly two, which was part of my issue with it, but I digress. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. The care says to hand wash cold and hang to dry or dry clean. I can tell you definitively that that is not going to happen. This top is very pretty. It's very feminine. It has this ruffle cap sleeve and then the very on-trend tie bow at the neck. With that said, this top feels very cheaply made to me. Now, I realize that it is only $12.99, but honestly, I would not pay $6.99 for this one. It is very thin. It has no stretch that I can discern. I don't even have wide hips, and it was very tight at the hip. It was just an odd fit. Although, unfortunately, I can't recommend this particular top, I do like the concept of it, and I think a better made version of this would be adorable. This one just was a miss for me. The fourth spring color trend that I want to talk about is again one that I'm very excited about because it is rays of sunshine, that sunny lemon yellow that we love so much in the spring and summer. The first one is an Amazon find. How cheerful is this top? They're calling this one the long sleeve top with lace trim. It is under $20. It comes in sizes small through 2XL, and it is available in a staggering 42 colors. I'm showing the yellow in a size medium. The fabric is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. It does say to machine wash cold and then hang to dry. And again, I suspect it's because of the lace trim on the sleeves. This bright and sunny top is a relaxed fit. It has a crew neckline and a zipper closure, which to be honest seems superfluous to me. I kind of wish that they had just made the neck opening a little bit bigger and skipped the zipper entirely, but maybe that's just 
just me. The body and trim is a soft waffle knit, and then it has the very on-trend balloon sleeves that are so pretty with this lace cutout detail. I do want to mention that the lace is soft to the touch. It's not scratchy at all. The only issue that I had with this top, and this is just related to me, is that it is very long. With that said, I kind of had to do some type of a front tuck with it, but that's just because I'm short-waisted. If you are taller than I am, you will easily be able to wear this out and you'll be good to go. Now, if the bright yellow from the previous top was just too bright for you, I decided to pull a variation that was still yellow and would still fit the trend, but is a little bit more muted. This one is from Walmart. This one is by Free Assembly on the Walmart website. They're calling this the Ruffle Collar Sweater. It was $28. It is currently on sale for $20, so that puts it at a really good price point. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL. It is available in five colors. I'm showing what they're calling mineral yellow in a size medium. It also comes in a pale orchid, which of course would fit into the purple hues trend. The fabric is 100% polyester which I'll circle back to. This does have super easy care instructions. It's just machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. This adorable sweater is super soft. I would not have guessed to touch it that it was 100% polyester. It definitely has more of a cotton feel. It has a split neck with tie accents and then this pretty almost Peter Pan collar with ruffle detail. There's also some subtle point tail detail and rib knit trim at the neckline, the wrist, and the hem. So if you want to work yellow into your wardrobe but you just can't do the bright color, this would be an option for you. And not only that, I think you would get more seasons out of it. It's that perfect weight. The fifth spring color trend that I want to talk about and is my personal favorite by far is hues of blue. On the runway, I saw a lot of powder blue, but there was even some cobalt blue, which is my all-time favorite color. The first piece that I have to share with you is from Walmart. I picked this up at my local Walmart in-store just yesterday. This is by the brand Time & True. They're calling this the Twofer Sweater Top. It is under $20. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL, and it is available in four colors. I'm showing the color that they're calling Blue Innocence in a size small. The fabric is 98% polyester and 2% spandex. It also has super easy care instructions. It's just machine wash cold and tumble dry. This cozy lightweight sweater has a crew neckline, Rib knit trim with a diagonal accent that I think is so flattering, and then this pretty striped trim on the cuffs and the hemline. Although the sweater itself fit true to size, I feel like I want to go up a size in this one because the striped trim at the hip line is connected all the way around, and the trim itself has no stretch. This is the part of this top that you'll want to make sure fits you properly, so you may need to size up depending on your hip ratio. I have very narrow hips and this was tight on my hips. I actually had to unbutton the buttons on the bottom just to show this to you. So I know that I will be exchanging this for the next size up. I just wanted to point that out to you, but otherwise I just love this top. I love this little stripe detail. It looks so fresh and so spring. Now, if you work in an office environment or you want something a little bit dressier, I absolutely love this one from Kato. This one is both in-store at my local Kato as well as online, so I will link it below. They're calling this the textured sleeve top. It is $25.99. I have to say, I think this particular one is worth it. It comes in Missy sizes, extra small through extra large, and then plus sizes 14 through 28. The fabric is 100% polyester. It also has super easy care instructions, even with all of this delicate detail. It does say to machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. I think I would err on the side of caution and put this in a garment bag personally. With that said, I am in love with this top. It has a high smocked neckline with a keyhole closure on the back. The neckline is still loose and comfortable, thankfully, because I'm one of those people that really can't tolerate anything close to my neck. The powder blue color of this top is just so 
pretty. The top has a relaxed fit with a nice silky drape. The very on-trend balloon sleeves have elastic at the wrist and I do find the elastic to be comfortable. I love the texture and dimension that the sleeve embellishments give this top. The sheer sleeves are also very much on trend for 2023 and the sleeve details kind of mimic feathers which is another huge trend for 2023 although I personally will not be wearing any feathers so this is the closest that I'll get to that. Now I do want to mention that the body of this top has a lot of volume. It drapes beautifully, but because I'm short-waisted, I felt like I wanted to do a front tuck or tuck it in entirely, but if you want it to fit more relaxed, it would definitely work that way as well. I love the sleeves on this one so much. In fact, I would love to know what you think of this one, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. The fourth spring-summer trend that I want to talk about is one of my favorites, and it is... <laughs> I forget... It was one of my favorites 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Take two. It's been so much fun looking at the spring color trends. I cannot wait to wear these colors, but back to reality, it is still winter. If you find that you are still lacking some basic pieces in your wardrobe to get you through the current season, you're going to want to watch this video next. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me, and I will see you next time.